I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There were many causes contributing to the outbreak of the space race. The anti-communist ideology that Americans held was the main contributor to the race. Communism was spreading throughout China, Korea, and Eastern Europe, and the U.S. was struggling to keep it under control. Extensive witch hunts for communists were condoned in the government because of Wisconsin Senator Joseph McCarthy's claim. He claimed to have had a list of 205 names that were known communists working for the State Department. He never showed the list and had no evidence to support his claim, but it was a threat to the American public. The Soviet Union had a lot of potential nuclear power, and there was much propaganda that warned families that it could potentially destroy a whole city. A poll was taken on April 25, 1961, reported that 12 million U.S. families had already done something to get ready for a nuclear bomb attack. This unnerving fear of communism that was sparked in America led to fear of the Soviet Union, and so the space race began. If the Soviet Union could beat the U.S. in sending a man to the moon, communism was an even bigger threat to the world. In 1957, with the launch of the USS Hart Sputnik 1 into space, the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States of America officially began. The American people and NASA scientists actively fought to have the first man in space. When the USSR was the first to put Yuri Gagarin, a Russian astronaut, in space, the fight was lost. The race became more severe. Technology started to advance at a pace that the world had not seen before as these two world powers raced to be on top. I therefore ask the Congress, above and beyond the increases I had earlier requested for space activities, to provide the funds which are needed to meet the following national goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. John F. Kennedy's speech moved the nation, and because of it, Congress put more funding into NASA, who began the Apollo 11 mission. With the start of NASA's Apollo missions, the idea of a man on the moon became more real. And with Neil Armstrong as the first man to step foot on the moon, with the words, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, became a reality. The U.S. had won the space race, and they had proved to be the world power. America became the conqueror of space, the great unknown. During the mid to late 20th century, the space race sparked scientific technological advances that increased U.S. spending on education and research. Life for the average American now became easier than ever. Everyday activities were less time consuming and cheaper. In 1957, the first satellite into space was launched, causing many improvements towards communication to happen. Technology meant for space had now been adapted to fit American lifestyles. For example, cell phones, computers, memory chips, TVs, and radios were all outcomes of the space race. One can argue that we cannot live without these items because they have become so much a part of our everyday Man lives that they are a necessity. Or Thanks expire. to technology, life was now easier and enjoyable for I wasn't exposed to everyone. this deeper thinking and, until I uh, really began to uh, think about a future in my life that was really in, in a, a good bit of doubt. Butnik yeah. opened up an era. Mm -hmm. And now Yuri Gagarin flies. Mm -hmm. We knew that they were going to put humans in space after a dog and after photographing the backside of the moon and naming all the craters uh, about Russians. We knew we were really in a race. Mm -hmm. So in 1961, President Kennedy was inaugurated May 25th, President Kennedy said, I believe this nation should commit itself before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon, the moon. and bringing him back yeah, safely. Certainly. There was a lot of implementing discussions about how we do that. Mm -hmm. But we had a Mercury program, but we could see with this one-man spacecraft that couldn't even maneuver, yeah. that we said we're going to go to the moon That's before the work. end of the decade. Are we going to keep flying that one-man spacecraft until Apollo was ready? No. Yeah. Exploration of space cannot end with the landing of a man on the moon. The American government must keep up with the culture of America, which is surrounded by the idea of space. Space has now been integrated into American culture, so much so that there are now movies, TV shows, and songs about space and its mysteries. 
By exploring space, American culture has changed. More people are open to ideas about what is in space and what lies beyond Earth. Because of all the mysteries of the moon have already been solved, NASA and the government are trying to send men further into space by going to Mars. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.